Hello and welcome to the 3 minute Quran study, the place where we don't take anything for granted. Once again, we're looking for evidence for a historical Muhammad. Perhaps the most convincing piece comes from an 8th century document which claims to contain a text from Thomas the Presbyter, who supposedly wrote it around 640 AD. It contains geographic information, genealogies from the Old Testament, as well as claims about the Arabs, but not about a new religion. Two sentences about the Arabs are of interest. The first one says, in the year 945, in Diction 7, on Friday 4th of February, at the 9th hour, there was a battle between the Romans and the Tayaye of Muhammad in Palestine, 12 miles east of Gaza. The Romans fled. Some 4,000 poor villagers of Palestine were killed there. Christians, Jews and Samaritans. The Arabs ravaged the whole region. First of all, the dating here is according to the Seleucid calendar. The year 945 translates to 634 AD. And immediately we see two problems. First of all, Muhammad was supposed to be dead by 634 AD, yet here we have him leading the charge against the Romans. Apologists will of course claim that naming Muhammad in this instance is only symbolic. However, that was not the practice of the day. Once a leader died, his troops were no longer named after him. But even if we accept this argument, the bigger problem is that the text claims that the Arabs ravaged the whole region. Archaeologist Yehuda Nevo has searched the entire region for evidence of large-scale destruction. Particularly, towns and villages are expected to be abandoned after a major army marches through. Yet, he could not find any evidence whatsoever that would support this claim. Let us therefore look at the second quote from the text. In the year 947, in Diction 9, the Arabs invaded the whole of Syria and went down to Persia and conquered it. The Arabs climbed on the mountain of Mardan and killed many monks there in the monasteries of Kedar and Dunata. The Seleucid year 947 is our year 636. And again, we have a problem with the date. The Sasanian Empire didn't fall until 651 AD, 16 years after the date given in the text and 11 years after it was supposedly written. Had Thomas the Presbyter written these lines in 640 AD, he would have had first-hand experience. Hence, he wouldn't have been confused about who was leading the Arabs, which lands were destroyed and when Persia was conquered. Given that the manuscript at hand is from the 8th century, we have two possible explanations for the historical oddities. Either the entire text is pseudonymous, meaning that it wasn't written by Thomas the Presbyter at all. Alternatively, the copyist could have enhanced the original text by providing additional details, details which unfortunately weren't accurate, giving us the opportunity to detect the later date of origin. And with that, we have already covered all relevant extra-Islamic sources which supposedly support the Islamic narrative. Only two of them mention Muhammad by name and both of those are later interpolations. Not very impressive for God's chosen prophet, a warlord who united all the Arabs under a new religion and who set them up to create an empire within years of his death. One would certainly expect to find something solid about him. 